all right just a quick follow-up to my Costco pavilion assembly video now even though it's a big heavy structure with those open sides that roof is going to catch a lot of wind it's got to be fastened down somehow if I was doing it on a concrete slab I just drill in set some anchors and bolt it down but since I set the post on stepping stones right on the ground that really wasn't an option for me so what I did was I cut some length of rebar with my cutting torch I heated one end and pounded it over, mushroomed it some, so it looks like a big giant nail. And then, I drilled right through the bolt holes and through the stepping stones. Now rather than go straight down, I drilled in an angle, because that should hold a lot better. You can see how these are mushroomed over a bit. Now if you don't have a cutting torch or any way to heat that, you could also just bend the rebar a little bit. Now the length you use is really going to be dependent on the type of soil you have, so you're going to have to experiment with that a little bit. Now we used to have an old travel trailer sitting right here that Diane lived in about 17 years ago when she's remodeling the house. It was old back then and boy is it old now. The roof had sprung some leaks and I had a tarp across the top but it was really an eyesore and we were just using it to store some stuff we probably shouldn't have kept in the first place. But what I did was with the electrical that originally ran to the trailer I rerouted it over to the fence here and I installed an electrical outlet. Now anytime you install an electrical outlet outdoors you want to use a GFCI, that's a ground fault circuit interrupt outlet, very similar to the ones you probably have in your kitchen and bathrooms. It just affords a little bit of extra protection. And then the last thing I did was brought in a couple more pickup truck loads of gravel to fill it in all the way to the fence and cover the bare spots in the middle. Here's what it looked like before. You can see part of the old travel trailer there with the tarp falling off of it. And those boxes there, of course, hold all the pieces to the pavilions. And here's what it looks like after. I think it was quite an improvement. Now a couple weeks after I got all finished up, we had quite a severe windstorm and the pavilions didn't budge an inch. So I guess I got them fastened down properly. My fence, however, didn't fare so well. I think it was starting to get a little loose anyway and the wind gusts we had were just too much for it. Blew those panels right out. So now I guess it's time to get the tools back out and get to work on that fence. Certainly no shortage of things to do around here.